have to speak. And when you sit here and, and look at a group like sit here, look up at me today, yeah, it makes it all worthwhile because these boys and girls, these young men and women, they're our future. And uh, we've got to do everything in our power to make sure that they get the best education that they, that they can stay in West Virginia. Well, actually, there was two bills that it comes along as part of you know, the changes we're trying to make in, in education in West Virginia. Uh, Senator Beach had uh, the, the one bill that I talked about today. is one dealing with uh, special needs children. And so many times those children do not get to participate in the graduation uh, uh, ceremonies with their classmates. And this would ju just would allow them, you know, even though they may not have all the credentials and everything for graduation, but would allow them to participate. In, in the march across the stage and so forth, and, and receive uh, some sort of a diploma. But you know, it's just that's one of those memorable, memorable times in your life. And I thought it was a great gesture to be able to allow those, rather than have to sit on the sidelines, to be able to uh, go across the stage with their peers. Yeah, I think that we got some great opportunities going on around our state, especially with the drilling of the Marcellus and Unica shells in West Virginia. I think that this generation of children will have opportunities like we've never had, the older, we the older people have not had this stuff. I know that many of you in this room, especially standing around the walls, we've watched our friends and neighbors and cousins and brothers and sisters have to leave West Virginia in order to find jobs. But I truly believe that if we get the things that I think we're going to have, like the Cracker Plant that's been basically announced in Inwood County, and the downstream industries, that it's going to create jobs, and there's going to be jobs all around the state of West Virginia, not just in the North Central and not just in the northern, uh, northern Panhandle, but the jobs are going to come from all over the state. But, and because, but the thing we've got to do, we've got to have the people with the skills necessary to take those jobs. The thing about you know, the downstream industries, the chemical plants and so forth, that would use the product made by the crackers is they could be located basically in any place in the state. But you know, we're going to have hopefully be keeping our people here, hopefully people moving into the state of West Virginia you know, to make sure uh, to have these jobs. Anytime you've got workers, you're going to have kids. When you've got kids, you've got to have schools, you've got to have health care. You know, you, you've got to have a legal system. So, you know, it doesn't uh, matter whatever your interests are. You know, if you pursue that dream and that goal, I feel that you're going to have a job in this state. And obviously, you know, the, the main jobs will start, you know, with construction jobs as we build these new facilities. But also, we got to have the scientists and the engineers and chemists and so forth to work. But then there's a lot of other jobs, uh, whether it be health care, legal education, that, that uh, will be needed also. There's also a will be a great uh, deal of need for entrepreneurs, people to start up their own businesses, the grocery stores, the restaurants, the, the small shops. So I think our opportunities are really unlimited. And uh, the other thing that's keeping us back is just not you know, reaching out and doing all the things that we need to be doing right now to be prepared.